Hi there, welcome to Tech Center. This is Joshua and I'm going to introduce you to editing a saved 2D image in Paint 3D. If you want to watch a full tutorial on Paint 3D, I've put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. Before we jump into the video, please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive future videos from my channel. If you haven't already watched my previous video, which was about importing saved images into a canvas in Paint 3D. I've put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. Now I'm going to show you how to edit a 2D image in Paint 3D. First of all, I'm going to open Paint 3D from the Windows Programs list. Click Start. And then on Paint 3D. Once Paint 3D is open, click on Open. Then click on Browse Files. To edit the 2D image, first of all, we need to open it. I'm going to browse to where I saved the file. Now you have to browse to the to where you saved the file. I'm going to click on this PC. Documents. Here's the file that I created previously. Sample file house. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to click on open to open the file. Now the file is open. You can see that the roof is not touching the walls. So I'm going to make them touch. To do that, click on the select tool in the global toolbar. Zoom in using the scroll bar in the global toolbar. Use the side scroll bar to scroll up and down. I'm going to scroll up. Left click and drag to select the shape of the roof. Left click and drag on the shape to move it on top of the wall. Click outside the selection box to deselect the shape. Use the scroll bar in the global toolbar to zoom out. Now I'm going to move the house and the sun to the top left hand corner. Left click and drag to select it. Left click and drag to move it across the canvas. Click outside the selection box to deselect the shape. It's the same process with the house. Left click and drag. Left click and drag to move it across the canvas. Click outside the selection box to deselect the shape. And here you have it. We've moved both shapes across the canvas. Now I'm going to add a signpost and I'm going to move this text on top of the signpost. To do that, go to 2D Shapes. The signpost is going to be made of two squares. Left click and drag. Change the fill color from none to solid. Then change the fill color to brown. Then change the line type to none. Then adjust the shape of the rectangle. Click outside the selection box to deselect the shape. Now I'm going to delete the text. To do that, left click and drag to select it. Then right click on the text. After that, click on delete. Go to the text tool. Click on text tool, change the font to any font you like, I'm going to change it to Sego UI Historic, change the font size to an appropriate size so it will fit inside the signpost, I'm going to change it to 22, the text is going to be bold and I'm going to put it in the centre of the text box. The colour of the text is going to be black. Left click and drag to draw the text box on the signpost. Left click and drag. Let go of left click to place down the text box. Now you can start typing. Left click and drag on the text box 
to move it across the canvas. I'm going to place it in the center. Click outside the selection box to deselect it. Now we're going to add the post. Go to 2D shapes, square tool, left click and drag. As you can see, the previous settings of the previous square was kept. I'm going to click on commit. Now I'm going to draw the sky and the grass. I'm going to go back to brushes. Go to marker. The sky colour is turquoise, so I'm going to choose turquoise. Left click and drag to draw with the pen. Left click and drag. Now go to the fill bucket tool and then click on the turquoise colour. Click on the top half to fill it in with turquoise. Here's the sky. Now go to green and then fill the bottom with green to make it look like grass. Now we're going to add clouds. Go to spray can tool and then go to white colour click on it, left click and drag to draw with the spray can. Now I've done the clouds, I'm going to go back to the select tool so I don't draw anything. Now that I've finished editing this file, I'm going to save it, menu, save. Now that the file is saved, I'm going to close Paint 3D. In my future videos, I'll be posting tutorials on Paint 3D and how to make games in Python. I hope that this video is helpful for you. If you liked this video, please smash that like button and share it to your friends and family. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click the red subscribe button below. If you have any questions or comments about this video, or if you'd like to get links to all of my previous videos, please contact me via email at fortechcenter at gmail.com. I've put a link in the description box below. See you in the next video!